you did see on the first one, it was necessary for me to clearance all the holes. You might wonder why I don't have the radio on. And the answer is because I don't like it when YouTube restricts my video because of the copyright. And I get intellectual property. I, that's, I don't have a problem with that. But crying out loud, it's on the radio. So when I'm doing something in the shop that I want to share with people and I'm making a video of it, I'm going to just keep the radio off and you can just listen to me and I'm not going to hum for you. You're here to learn something. Be entertained by that. So there it is. There's, there's the second one. Now I'm going to spray a little primer on them and uh, I actually think I will uh, take a couple pictures and send them to my wife who was on her way back from a business trip and uh, that's it so far. To show I did not drill through the inner side of the door. That's all just exterior. And I'm going to, those had a rubber, which I don't really understand if you're going to rivet them on. Obviously those were riveted on the back side, so these wouldn't, you know, um, so they could potentially rub. These aren't going to rub because they're solid mounted. But I do have some 3M emblem tape, and I'm going to put some of that on too, just as a, a little extra to help take the strain off the rivets in the sheet metal. Just wanted to share that too, and I'll show that in the video too of putting the adhesive on. So there's primer. On the brackets, so let them dry a little bit. Shoot them with some black. I'm going to go explore Jeep wiring schematics to find the high beam. Shouldn't be too hard to do. I'll use my test light. I'm going to check on the weather. It sounds awful windy. I didn't know if we were supposed to get any more storms. We did get my mowing done this morning. We were up bright and early. We were cutting grass at 6.15. Oh, it is raining. Ended up trimming my last, last lawn in the rain. And put stuff away and went home. Moved on to this project. Ought to make my wife happy. Uh, we need the rain. This is, uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's been hot. It's been hot for May, certainly. Mid 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 eighties already, and it's been dry, so we'll take it. So, I've got the headlight out, and I've got the high beam on. And it's this outside one here. This is the low beam, I know, because I tested that. And this is the ground. 
So the high beam is the red. So what we're going to do is cut this and add a wire that we can run to the relay to as the trigger for the relay. I got some black paint on there. Let them dry. So I've got the, I've wrestled with the harness, cut a couple cable ties. Pulled the wire, the, the harness there, up. Uh, not even two inches, but it makes a world of difference. Strip the insulation off. Just not enough hands. That story of my day. But, uh, the red wire is the high beam. So what I'm going to do is snip it and put in a male female spade. Got the the male will go on this end and the female will go on this end and we will put two wires, we'll put that additional jump wire, trigger wire for the relay in there. That's that's why the bigger uh, and then we'll tape that all up good and because I really I really don't want to solder on there there's I wish I had more room um, I did have um, another option but I only have that for a small wire size. This would have been perfect to put uh, on one side and then put the mail and slide them together. And then you have your jump right there. Fold it back like so and tape it all up. But that's only for uh, Let's see what size wire would that be like 18, 16? Uh, I don't know if you'd even get a 16 in there, maybe. Which would be enough, but you aren't going to get, you know, um, that's a 14 because it's the high beam. So uh, that's the next step. Believe it or not, I don't have a lot of my extra stuff is in storage, including my wire. Um, so paint's drying and um, you know, mounting it could probably wrap this up in an hour if uh, if the uh, stars all lined properly but my wife has keys for the truck that got left for her at work so um, she can get home and it, not like we don't have something else to drive anyway so this will have to wait till tomorrow afternoon to to finish it up